well checking in to check out it's a quick one today um yeah so i just want to quickly touch on on, on um all those interviews that i'm seeing on um online um about Connor ben's um failed drugs test adverse findings whatever whatever fancy fucking name you want to come up with yeah we got found out with fucking clomidin system so we all know what clomid does clomid is used for a pulse cycle ther therapy treatment so when you take a when you take when you go on a course of steroids you take the pct which usually consists of clomid and hcg obviously to make your to start testicles start producing testosterone because once you introduce um What's the word? Artificial testosterone to the body. It will signal to the body to turn off its own production. And where does the production come from? The testicles. Okay. So long story. That's the long and short of it. Um, people people can say they use it for uh, to just to give just people just take that to boost your testosterone. Oh, not really no, because you wouldn't boost your testosterone up that much anyway. If you just take clomid by itself, so that's bullshit. He was on a cycle, clearly. What you gotta do is look at what you gotta do is look at the man's transformation over the last few years, yeah. All of a sudden he's getting all of a sudden he's getting facial hair. Cause a few years back he couldn't grow no facial hair, remember? A few years ago he couldn't grow no facial hair. So now all of a sudden he's got facial hair now as well. As well as, you know, knocking dudes out and all this shit, whatever. But anyway, I don't really need to hear the to talk about all of that. I'm talking about the people who are tiptoeing around the uh, the subject online. You know what I mean? Tiptoeing around it. You know I mean, I see all these people getting interviewed on you know on YouTube boxing channels, just tiptoeing away around it. You know, they don't want, don't want to offend people, don't want to say certain things. You know, because they don't, they don't want to getting Eddie hands, bad books and all this shit so the tip to around the, the uh, subjects but I'll tell you what's funny though the, peop the people who are backing him yeah I reckon people who are backing him and I'm, what I mean by backing is in as if to say the one saying oh well until it's been you know until until it's been officially proven that he's taking it then I'm not gonna talk on the matter blah 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 like Pete like like who who said that Peter fucking Fury, yeah? He, he, look, go go search Peter Fury's interviews, and that's what he's, that's what he says. Until the man's been proven, I, I, I don't care what people say online. Blah 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 blah. I don't care what anyone says. What the fuck you know about man? It's public knowledge that he failed for a banned substance. So what are you talking about? Wait. So what what, what bullshit are you talking about? On wait and see if it's you know. If he's wait, waiting for, for you know, for it to be officially to made official that, that he took it and whatever, shut the fuck up, man. And again, Peter, people like Peter Fury, the reason why he's saying that because he's the one who, who's juicing up his fighters. He's the one who's getting his fucking. He's the one who's getting his fighters real juicy, yeah. Being juiced to the girls like Tyson Fury. Huey Fury, yeah, the all on it, bro. Yeah, Huey Fury and Tyson Fury are bosses for Nandrolone, which is aka Decca, Decca Durabilin, an anabolic steroid. Yeah, okay, so you so already know that, so you already know he, that his people's are more on the juice. Because he's because he supplies the juice. <laughs> he's got his fighters on the juice. It's that simple, okay? Um So yeah, so obviously he's not gonna be saying all this shit. Because he's guilty he's guilty himself of fucking doing it. <laughs> he's guilty him fucking himself. So that's why he's like on the fence. He ain't saying shit about it. Right? All you gotta do go look back on there's an interview probably about two months ago now. Yeah, probably about two months ago now. Yeah, about two months ago. Where I don't know I don't know, I think it might have been the start of I can't remember. But it's about two months ago on seconds out. 
go and second that YouTube channel. And there's and someone was asking, I think I think they were asking about Savannah Marshall or one of his fighters anyway. And then I asked about Huey. They talked about Huey Fury. Why the why the fight with him and Michael Hunter got postponed? And because Huey Fury, he said that Huey, Huey Fury had had an abscess on his fucking on his on his ass. Yeah, on his ass cheek, he's got an abscess. And that's the reason why he had to push back the uh, the fight. Now, n now, so we know these guys take the steroids. We know this already. Now, anyone who knows anything about steroids, right? Especially underground steroids, not legitimate ones, or it might even be a legitimate one. But if you don't clean the area properly of the injection site, or if it's you know. The gear might be underground gear, so you might not be fully sterile, okay? But basically, whatever what happens is right. Once you inject that sub substance into the muscle, and, let, and I like, like I just said, whether it's whether the, the gear is clean or not, or the, the the surrounding area is clean or not, look, it's not clean, I should say. Bacteria can get into the muscle. And the surrounding area and the skin and cause an abscess. Okay, it happens to bodybuilders or anyone who takes steroids for um, whatever sport they want to do. It, hap it happens, especially if they get underground gear as well. It, it happens a lot of the time. A lot of bodybuilders get ab abscesses, okay, on their glute because the glute is the main area. The glute, aka the arse cheek the ass okay that's where you that's the main area to inject the steroid okay again so if that area is dirty or you're using bad gear or whatever you know the chances are you might get abscess and you can have it you can have one that bad where you need to get it cut out because it'd be that painful you keep and and uh, peter fury's words that's what I'm talking about, Peter Fury. I'm not too sure if I said at the start. I don't know if I've said John Fury or not. But yeah, Peter Fury anyway. Peter Fury, his own words were, he's got a he had an abscess on his ass the size of size of a golf ball. That was his that was literally his own words on the video. Now, why would someone just have a random abscess on their ass? Because they're injecting steroids into the fucking glute, into the muscle. And obviously it's not clean, the gear is not clean. Okay? Or some or somehow some bacteria has got into it. Simple as that. And that's why you had an abscess. Again, some people's abscesses are not as bad as others. Clearly his one was. And when you get an abscess like that, it's real painful. Trust me. You got no other choice but to go and get it taken out. <laughs> it's that simple, alright? So That's the reason why the Michael Hunter fight got pushed back. Because he took steroids, he got an abscess, had to take it out, had a recovery period. Also, also, to flush the gear out of his system as well. That would have helped as well, you know, to clear the system, just in case, just in case he got a drug test. So, there we go. So that's the reason why people like Peter Fury are sitting on the fence pretty much defending Connor. Because he's got his people juiced up. And do a bit of research of Peter Fury. Yeah? And John Fury. These people these people have been these people have been selling dope, yeah? AKA drugs from years ago. These people these people have been selling drugs from years ago. These are big time drug dealers, yeah? From years ago. Okay, so do your research and you can find it out yourself. So that's the reason why people like John Fury is sitting on the fence. No, people like Peter Fury is sitting on the fence because he knows he's got his fighters juiced up. I don't know whether he's got Savannah Marshall juiced up, which he probably, he probably has. Again, he might be on certain certain substances. What what I don't, um, what won't, um, 
be too obvious to the naked eye on a female because you know if you take certain things as a female certain steroids you, you, it's gonna it's gonna look too obvious you know so i reckon savannah marshall was juice up as well that's why she had to postpone the uh, uh postpone the the clarissa shields fight originally that got that got postponed put past they got pushed back by a few months come on man put one on one together and we're gonna get two all day all right so that's why and other people who are, who are again sitting on the fence they probably guilt they'll probably either guilty themselves or they just want to say on people's good books one of the three or all of the three or maybe two of the three it's simple as that yeah so peter, peter fury you know what I mean? He's, got his, you know, he's, 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 the, he's one of the juice gods out there, you know? He's one of the juice gods. Got people juice up 100%, boy! Anyway, with that, I'm out.